and action! You! Yeah, me? Yeah, you. You know what I just did? Hmm. I just walked out that door. I saw a couple detectives. I was about to start badmouthing you behind your back. No, I didn't. Hmm. My pops always told me that a man who talks behind somebody's back is a coward. Wow. I actually appreciate that. Good. Because I'm going to tell you directly to your face. You don't have to. No. Listen to me. I don't like you, sweetheart. I think you're a fake cop. I do. Want to know a secret? You know the sound of your piss hitting the urinal? Yeah, it sounds feminine. It really does. Makes sense. Yeah. It does. It does. But anyways, if you were, if you're in the wild, I would attack. Even if you weren't in my food chain, I would go out of my way and I would eat you. If I were a lion, if I were a lion, then you were a tuna. I'd swim out into the middle of the ocean and I would freaking eat you. And then, I'd probably end up banging your tuna girlfriend. Okay, first off, a lion, swimming in the ocean. Yeah. Lions don't like water. If you place it near a river or some sort of freshwater source, yeah, that'd make sense. But you find yourself in the ocean, 20 foot waves. I'm assuming it's off the coast of South Africa. Coming up against a full grown 800 pound tuna with its 20 or 30 friends. You lose that battle nine times out of ten. And guess what? What? You've wandered into our school of tuna. Mm. And now we have a taste of lion. Oh, yeah? We've talked to ourselves. We've communicated. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And you know what? What? We said, hey, lion tastes good. Let's go get some more lion. We've developed a system to establish a beachhead and aggressively hunt you and your family. We're gonna corner your pride, your family, your offspring. Yeah, how do you plan to do that? Uh, well, we're going to establish a breeding apparatus made out of kelp. Mm -hmm. And we'll be able to trap certain amounts of oxygen not for a long amount of time, but an hour, hour 45, no problem. We'll be able to get out, find you, go back and get more oxygen, and then we'll stalk you. And you lose. You're outmanned, outgunned. Action. Juan Cabral reading for Bartleby. Brooke McGinley reading for Loki. I like to watch. This is humanity at its best. Look at them. All that tension, all that anger, and mistrust, forgotten for one perfect moment when they come off that plane. See those two? The guy doesn't even know the girl cheated on him while she was away. She did? Mm hmm twice. But it doesn't matter. At this moment, because they're so relieved to be with one another. I like that. I just wish they could feel, all of them feel that way more often. 
Maybe if someone gave them free bags of pants more often, they would. Now, what was so freaking important that I had to miss cartoons this morning? If it was to share in your half ass obsessions of Hallmark moments, I am going to slug you. You're never going to believe this. We're going home. Let me have some. Look what somebody sent us in the mail. Mm -hmm. Did you say we're going home? Cardinal Glick cuts ribbon on Catholic some wow campaign. And? Keep reading. Updating the church, television spots, public consent, rededication. Again, Goodness. and? The rededication of St. Michael's Church on its 100th anniversary is a kickoff of a new campaign that seeks to bring the Catholic Church back to into the mainstream with a papal sanction. The archway entrance to the century-old Jersey Shore House of Worship will serve as a passageway of plenary indulgence, which, according to Catholic beliefs, offers all who pass through its arcs a morally clean slate. You still don't get it, do you? No, I don't get it. Are we leaving now? If you walk through that, through the church's front door on the day of the rededication ceremony, your soul is wiped clean of all and any and all existing sin, more so than the sacrament of penance could ever offer. It's a plenary indulgence, man. I don't know why I never thought of this before. I like to watch. This is humanity at its best. Look at them. All that tension, all that anger and mistrust, forgotten for one perfect moment when they get off that plane. See those two? The guy doesn't even know that the girl cheated on him while he was away. She did? Twice. But that doesn't matter. Because at this moment, because they're relieved that they're with one another. I like that. I just wish they could feel like that more often. Maybe if someone gave them free bags of penis before, more often than they would. Now, what was so freaking important that I had to miss cartoons this morning? If it is to share in your half-assed obsessions of Hallmark moments, I'm gonna slug you. Okay, you're never going to believe this. We're going home. Let me have some. Look what somebody sent us in the mail. Did you say we're going home? Let's see. Cardinal Glick cuts ribbon on capitalism. Wow campaign. And? Keep, keep reading. Dating church, television spots, pep consent, rededication. Again, and? Give me this. Dang. The rededication of St. Michael's Church on its 100th anniversary is the kickoff of a new campaign that seeks to bring the Catholic Church back into the mainstream. With a papal sanction, the archway entrance to the century-old Jersey Shore House of Worship will serve as a passageway of plenary indulgence, which according to the Catholic beliefs, offers all who pass through its arcs a morally clean slate. You still don't get it, do you? No, I don't. Are we leaving now? If you walk through the church's front door on the day of the rededication ceremony, your soul is wiped clean of any and all existing sin. More so than the sacrament of penance could ever offer. It's a plenary indulgence, man. Uh, I don't know why I never thought of this before. Okay. Grant, you'll slate first and action. Hi, I'm Grant Sterling, and I will be reading for Bartleby. I'm Emily Guthrie, and I'll be reading Love Read. Whenever you're ready. like to watch. This is humanity at its best. Look at them. All of that tension, all that anger and mistrust forgotten for one perfect moment when they come off that plane. See those two? The guy doesn't even know the girl cheated on him while he was away. She did? Mm-hmm. 
twice, but it doesn't matter at this moment because they're both so relieved to be with one another. I like that. I just wish they could all feel like that more often. Well, maybe if someone gave them free bags of peanuts more often, they would. Now, what was so freaking important that I had to miss cartoons for this? If it, if it was to share in your half-assed obsessions with Hallmark moments, I'm going to slug you. You're never going to believe this. Going home. Let me have some. Look what someone sent us in the mail. Did you say we're going home? <sighs> Cardinal Glick's cut ribbon on Catholicism. Wow, campaign. And? Keep reading. <sighs> Updating the church. Television spots, papal consent, rededication. Again, and? Give me this. The rededication of St. Michael's Church on its 100th anniversary is the kickoff of a new campaign that seeks to bring the Catholic Church back into the mainstream. With the papal sanction, the archway entrance to the century-old Jersey Shore House of Worship will serve as a passageway of plenary indulgence, which, according to Catholic beliefs, offers all who pass through its arches a morally clean slate. You still don't get it, do you? No, I don't. Are we going home? Look, if you walk through the church's front door on the day of the rededication ceremony, your soul is wiped clean of any and all existing sin, more so than the sacrament of penance could ever offer. It's a plenary indulgence, man. I don't know why I never thought of this before. Stay in character to your...